Hello everybody and welcome to my second round World Cup predictions. I'll be making four of these, one for each quarter of the draw. And this is the third quarter. Uh, this is the one that I did the best on, six out of eight. And one, obviously, I purposefully bet against myself. And the other one was an absolute dicing, you know, taking nothing away from Cabusta, but it was it was ridiculous dice that Steve got. So, you know, who knows what would have happened if they'd actually got to play a game of Blood Bowl. <laughs> but they didn't, so that, there it is. Uh, yeah, predictions, yellow stars, of course. Um, so let's have a look, see what people have taken as their dual skill, and do the predictions. So I remember seeing that I didn't like the block catcher for Cabusta, and of course this is why he's done it, so he can get guard on the catcher after the after the first game. So it was a little bit risky, because it really wasn't a good pick in the first game. But now it looks a really good pick for the second one. I mean, he could have still just had an extra guard. I didn't mind starting them unprotected and then just using normals to give them block uh, if I was going to go humans. But yeah, it's paid off for him. It's paid off for that little bit dodgy game one. A bit like what I considered with my catcher. So yeah, fair play. And Arzawain has also come guard on a catcher, but he's got the additional guard on the blitzer. Um, you know, I, I like guard. I'm going to back the guy with more guard. <laughs> it's as simple as that. That's, that's, you know, I'm a simple man, easily pleased. Give him more guard. I'm happy. Let's go Arzawain. So now we've got a really interesting game. Andre versus Yago. They both beat established uh, champs ladder people in uh, Debesa and Pupok. Um, again, we've gone standard team here for Andre, human team. Three rerolls, Apo, 12 players. He's taken guard, he's got four guard total. Block on the ogre, uh, very nice. Let's, let's, uh, yeah, let's see what happens. That's, that's a good human team. And conversely, I, I don't really like this, this Wood Elf team so much. He's got the reroll on the apple, which, you know, it's, it's just personal preference. I'm not saying that this is worse than two rerolls, but it's my preferences for two rerolls. My preference would have been for block on the catcher, so we'd have had a block guard catcher. But so now he's got a defenseless catcher, well, not defenseless, but only dodge, and a sidestep for the one turn, which could be good. But I, I think I would have rather had a bludge guarder than a sidestepper and a guarder. Um, so yeah, I think I'm going to actually have to back Andre to win this one. And now we've got Tis one two three versus Andy Davo. Um, and this is the problem that he had with his build. By going the wrestle line woman, he couldn't really put guard on the wrestler. Whereas if he'd gone block, he could have taken guard. So, yeah, I think maybe he's out of, I would have gone block if I was him. But, you know, he's got three guard. He's got a mighty blow. He's got a bunch of dodge. It's not It's not a bad team, certainly. 13 players, Apo, four rerolls. Um, yeah, it's, it's not bad. And Andy Devo has gone for the guard. Like I knew he would, um, I had a bet with Shawnee 18 who thought he'd take tackle to try and beat the Amazons and I was like, no way, he'll take guard so he's got a stronger team if he gets to the final. And of course I was right. Um, it's going to be very dodgy for him, you know, if he doesn't roll any pals, Amazons can be tricky. But uh, I do think he will prevail and you know, it's it's just it's just good, isn't it? It's good having a bunch of bludge. He's, he's got five dodge that are all agility four, so he's almost got as much dodge anyway. And and then he's got plus one armor on everybody, plus one movement on half the team, over half the team, dodge on half the team anyway. So it's really, you know, it is really a solid pick, Dark Elves. I'm shocked that there weren't more Dark Elf teams. Um, so yeah, I'll pick Andy Devo for that. And last but not least, we've got Ornan versus Jimmy Fantastic. Um, Ornan is a terrifying team with a panning on Mighty Blow. Thankfully, he, he, didn't, he didn't skip the double. I thought he may have gone block on the thrower or Mighty Blow on the blitzer with tackle, um, you know, to make it even more scary, but he's gone for guard on the catcher. Three guard, it's a, it's a lot, and he, he can do things with that guard, but I was more scared. I'm, I'm the most scared about this game that he's just going to make five cars or something and I'm not going to have a chance. Um, so you know, I it's I've just I've got a really bad feeling about this one. And while I do have a really bad feeling about it, I've got my own mighty blow to fight back. You know, two mighty blow. He's got one mighty blow and one mighty blow piling on. So I don't have an apple though, and only eleven players. I did set up the guard choice, but 
I thought it just, you know, I thought I'm going to go for Mighty Blow and try to get lucky because this seems a horrible matchup for me. Um, and, you know, I am going to back on and to beat me just on the basis that he'll probably cast half of my team and ruin me. <laughs> and there's my picks for the fourth quarter. Like last time, uh, I hope I'm wrong about one of them. But uh, there you go. I will be streaming them all on Twitch and I'll be uploading all of the replays to YouTube. So be sure to check them out. And if you enjoyed it, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and stay fantastic.